of kiddies. We had under 1,500 members, two not quite fully fledged MPs. So I phrased it like that in the written because I didn't want to reinforce the fact that in, in uh, what gets reported that we were still slightly tied to the Alliance and a very small parliamentary staff. A national office run in a spare bedroom, um, spare bedroom of our house in Wellington, uh, by a part-time administrator and a 1% poll rating. I actually put out a speech at the time when we had 1% and the Greens celebrates and <laughs> <laughs> Still no money in the national coffers. <laughs> <laughs> Only $5,000, no, $4,400 of our election debt to pay, and then it has to one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> At the start of the AGM, I wanted to announce it's gone. Because how much did you raise in January? At the summer gathering? I'm still waiting for some of those to pay. Yeah, but I'm still waiting on the following stuff. Well, if, exactly. If, they, if those ones paid, we'd be right. We'll have several thousand dollars. <laughs> Most significantly for me, and the thing that really does blow me away, is a massive increase in membership. I think the actual number is 934 since the election. I mean, that is absolutely <coughs> phenomenal, and you'll hear more about that this afternoon. A Wellington parliamentary staff of 16, 10 parliamentary officers covering the country, and I should have said with that, one of them also um, doubles as our new national office, so it's no longer in our spare bedroom. Um, my secretary's in the spare bedroom now. And <laughs> Thank you.